The emotions that I felt when I first heard the words was fear because I didn't know what to expect. It was June the 28th that I was diagnosed. I've been feeling a lump in my breast. Sunday came around, I said, you know, if there is any Sunday for us to be in fellowship, it is this Sunday. The sermon was, you're in the fight for your life. We've doubled the uh, national average of breast cancers diagnosed at our facility. Trying to find those tumors as early as you can is very key. We tend to see tumors at younger ages in black women and uh, more aggressive tumors. I'm concerned because most of the data that's out there is based on Caucasian women or Northern European women. Blacks have been largely excluded from the randomized control trials and a lot of the observational studies. I think we've understudied and underappreciated the effects of breast cancer in this population. If I had gone right when I was supposed to, it would have been even earlier. So one thing I have learned is you don't want to delay this. In some communities, the word cancer is equated with death. In economically challenged communities, access can be a problem. Women in this area prior to us arriving here had to take, in some cases, a subway and two buses just to get to a facility to get a mammogram done. And that's why women were not getting their mammograms. I didn't know what to do, who to talk to, or what to say or who to tell. I was walking around smiling like nothing was wrong, trying to be brave for everybody else. I was scared to death. Just because we serve the underserved, I don't think that we have to look like we serve the underserved. Our navigator is bilingual, so she speaks Spanish. I think many times when patients call and they can hear someone who speaks Spanish, that immediately just decreases some of the anxiety and makes them feel like, okay, great, this will be a place that I can come to. It's really hard when you don't have a support system, so if you have to shop around a little bit to try to find one, do so, but don't take too long. I think it's important, especially knowing the statistics for women of color. You have a voice and you need to use it. Make sure you take care of your health, go get screened, don't be afraid.